everyone, my name is Seth McCann, and today I will be interviewing some of my peers about the 2023 AHS Homecoming. So here I am joined with Kyla Fitzgerald to talk about the student section. So Kyla, would you say that the turnout of the game is bigger because of uh, Homecoming? Um, not necessarily. I think the weather is playing an aspect right now. It was supposed to be cold and rainy, so I think that people kind of base their decision on whether to come to the game on that or not. We have a decent amount of people here, but it could be better. It could be bigger. So Kyla, do you guys come up with the, the themes for these? Yeah, we work with the cheerleaders. We get together. We went to Duncan uh, in the morning and we work together on the themes. We thought about, usually we have our community night. The first game is beach. And then, of course, it's October, so it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we thought that we needed to get the pink in. Okay, so do you think that um, the decorations, like how much goes into that? Who comes up with those? How much planning do you guys have with that? So usually Emma orders all of it. Me and Emma uh, decide. Usually we think about what we want to bring to the table and what kind of decorations that we want. We want try to go with a little bit of the Barbie. Barbie's kind of popular right now. Um, but yeah, she usually does most of that. I usually put it together, but she does most of the picking what we're going to order. Okay, thank you. To start off halftime, we begin with the marching band halftime performance. <laughs> Now it's time for the crowning of the AHS seniors. Your 2023 homecoming king is Jack Balasek. And your 2023 homecoming queen is Sophia Di Gregorio. Congratulations, Jack and Sophia, and to the rest of our senior homecoming court members. Let's have a round of applause for River Hawks fans and everybody in the stands for our 2023 homecoming court. Okay, I am joined here by our king and queen, Jack Valisak and Sophia De Gregorio. So my first question for you guys is, are you happy that you guys won king and queen? Yeah, I'm happy. I, I wish my buddy Cole would have won, but I'm, I, I appreciate it, everyone voting for me, so. Yeah, it's definitely an honor. There was a lot of good girls on the court this year, so it's an honor, but a lot of everyone on that court deserved it, so. So my question here is, uh, do you guys, did you guys expect it? No, I, did, I truthfully didn't expect winning, so. Yeah, I saw your expression. I, it was, like, kind of funny. Yeah, not at all because, again, like, everyone on there is so great, and they all deserve it, so, yes. I'm Sorry. Like going into your I know, power. this is so hard to hold. It's so big. So you guys have any shout-outs you want to give? Just all my buddies who are on court with me, so. Yes, yeah, all my friends, Hannah, Cece, Ella, everyone, Natalie, Emmy, everyone. Well, thank you guys. Congratulations. So here I am joined by Natalie Kamer to talk about her planning homecoming. So how stressful would you say it is? How much planning do you put into homecoming? Um, okay, so we start planning homecoming about May of last school year, and we've been planning this dance for over a month. It's been very stressful, but I think the execution is going to go really well. So, that's what so, so how well do you think the turnout will be? I think the turnout will be really well. Um, we spent all day decorating today. We started at one. We had lots of help from all of our members. All the donations were great. Um, 
We had our t-shirts that were designed by a member of our student council. I think it's really going to be a good dance. And what is your favorite part, would you say, every year of homecoming? Oh, my favorite part? Honestly, we'll just be planning the dance. I've had a lot of fun working with the other student council officers and Mrs. McCauley and just all of the other members contributing anything that they can to help us plan this whole dance. Thank you, Natalie. The next night was the 2023 homecoming dance under the stars set up by student council. Well, there you have it, folks, the 2023-2024 homecoming season.